I'm Joshua Zoukas, and I'm from the United Kingdom. The moment I arrived in the central city of Hoi, located on the banks of the Perfume River, I fell in love with this serene city. One of the nice things about coming to Hue is that when I come here, I feel like a local, like I, I can speak like them. I understand uh, the Hue way of life, and I understand kind of how to behave in, in uh, Hue society, which is quite unique. The Hue is, I think, very unique. Through spending a lot of time here and making connections with people here, um, part of the, the, the reason that I love coming back to Hue so much is because each time I come back, I feel like I'm coming, yeah, I'm coming home. When I was living in Hue, I was working for a children's charity, and I also got very close to one of the house mothers there, um, who has since become my second mother, my Vietnamese mother. And I've developed a really strong relationship with her, and I care for her like she's my mum, and I think that she cares for me. Uh, like I'm her son as well. And that's really important to me. That's um, one of the main reasons why I love coming to Hue. Is... I lived in Hue for almost two years. I know about the culture, the lifestyle, I know each street and every corner. That's all of my knowledge about Hue. Let me be your tour guide and together we can discover something interesting about this fascinating city. Hue is located in the central region in Tuatianhui province. The city is a centre for culture, education and tourism for the whole region. Hue is also regarded as a poetic city, thanks to the fact that it has inspired so much music and literature. Part of Hue's charm lies in its traditional craft villages, and these villages help preserve Hue's traditional arts. My journey of discovering the different crafts of Hue have brought me to Sing Village, which is famous for its folk art. I'm going to go and meet one of the artisans and see what it's all about. Kỳ Hữu Phước, one of the village's most famous artisans, helped me to get to know more about the unique features of worship paintings, which are an important traditional art form in Hue. Ancestor worship is a Vietnamese tradition. Together with Tet paintings, worship paintings date back centuries. Sing villages' images are used in special worshipping ceremonies. It is a traditional art form and a long standing cultural feature of Hue's people. Today, apart from paintings for worshipping and other rituals, people in Sing village are also interested in decorative art and wall hangings. Artisans in Sing village have come up with new woodblock prints and are no longer only concerned with religious iconography. Xong rồi. Mèo này đẹp không? Anh xong một bước tôi xong ba bước. Con mèo, con mèo mặc đỏ như như gấu. 
Um, I don't know why I chose the red colour for the cat. Maybe I wanted to make the cat look drunk. I think that Huawei people are extremely creative. I think it's hard not to be creative in this kind of environment. Um, because Huey is so beautiful, it's full of trees and rivers and canals and um, the beach isn't far away and you can always see the mountains wherever you are in the city. And I think that that kind of beautiful setting inspires uh, creative characters, um, which is why Huey is, is, is just full of, of artists and artisans. It can be said that Hue has more temples and pagodas than any other city in Vietnam. Residing in these pagodas are abbots, who are also artists, and they use chuk chi paper art to decorate the interior of their pagodas. The first time I saw chuk chi uh, art in Hue was really interesting. I actually um, have never seen traditional paper making before um, and although uh, Chuk Chi uh, differs um, a little bit um, in terms of the very traditional way of making paper um, still a, a lot of the a lot of the techniques that have been used for thousands of years are still used yeah it's 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 really it's really interesting how it's made quite surprising as well I suppose I've never really put much thought into how paper was made Today, I will take you to see Fan Hai Lang. For 10 years, he has been trying to use paper as a medium to develop his art, and Chuk Chi is the result. In Chuk Chi, the artist adds graphic designs at the last stage of paper making, which is known as screening. Thanks to this technique, each sheet of paper is a work of art, and no two pieces are alike. And this, um, this is, the, uh, and this is the <clears throat> another way to display the artwork with the lighting, the surface, and here we use the, the background, the green, and taken thin and then the image appeared on all the way. Mm -hmm. And we can, we can change the color of the background to get some effect. Mm -hmm. This is the effect of the lighting behind. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. So the process is uh, we have to draw in a circle and then... Uh, So An Bang has just showed me the, um, some of the stages of producing uh, Chuk Chi art. I am really surprised by it. What's really interesting about Chuk Chi that um, An Bang was explaining is that so paper is normally used um, as like the base, as the canvas, right? And then you create art on the paper. But with Chuk Chi, the, the, Chuk -chi, the, the paper itself is the art. Um, and it's how you mould and, and sculpt the, the, the paper in order to make the art form. And that's what is most surprising, I think. Fan Hai Bang and his partners are planning to combine Chuk Chi with other Hui traditional crafts, such as Sing paintings, Bao La bamboo rattan and conical hat making. Carrying Hui's signature culture, these new products are hoped to bring a novel touch to the traditional craft scene 
as well as forming a stronger bond between the craft villages. Maybe one day, we will even see a Chukchi craft village among these more ancient craft villages. Yeah, you have to tear it. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, the first time. No, the first time. <clears throat> so realize. Okay. Uh. So down. Turn. And up. It's okay. <laughs> Good, eh? Whoops. Good, good for the first time. <laughs> mm. so, but yeah. So, so show me, is, where is it thin? Like here, maybe it's uh, too thin. Because you, uh, you, thin. you do it so slow. Yeah. First, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So do it faster. A little right. bit. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> A little bit red, just a little bit red before take off. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. Now it's, it's on the other it's side. Yeah. Okay. And you can see the side of your, your hand, yeah? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Is it better? Better, yeah. I can't really tell. Oh, uh, yeah. The important thing, right, is that you come up all at the, yeah, the same time, right? right? Before you meet it floating a little bit. Yeah, before you take and then you bring up. Yeah. Okay. Camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's still not even. I can see it's like it's very thick yeah. here and thin here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can see some interesting thing. To make, to actually make the chopped cheese is quite complicated. You have to um, take the, the pulp from the bamboo, um, which, is, which is wet, um, so that's in water. So you take the pulp out from the water and uh, then you, you um, have to put it in a, in a smaller tank. And from that smaller tank, you use kind of a, a big, um, a big kind of net, I suppose, a kind of a, a silk net, um, uh, with only very, very small holes, so small enough to let the water go through, but it still catches the pulp. And then you use that net to scoop up the pulp, um, so that the the pulp is then flat. Um, and from um, from there you can um, you can make patterns. Um, you can alter the shape a little bit um, before drying it, and then only after it's dried, um, that's when it actually takes on its paper form.
So when the, the another layer, but you have to spray on the surface. Well, so now I've just finished the um, the stage after you've after you've collected the chukchi. So that's the stage when you like make some designs, um, and I'm very excited to see how it's going to turn out. I'm not particularly artistic. Um, but maybe uh, with Chukchi, I found my hidden talent. We'll see. So it's taken three hours for this to dry in the sun. Now we're gonna take it back to the workshop and we're gonna make a beautiful fan. Okay, so I've got my dried uh, chok chi here. Yeah. yeah. Tell me what yeah. we're gonna do now. You now we have to pure it off. Uh-huh. Yeah. So how does it pure it off? You have to uh, just tenderly behind. Uh, so you okay. see, and you can see it's moving. I'll show you this one, and you can just sell one. Two. Yeah. Oh, well, this one is much nicer. <laughs> the feeling is nicer. Um, and the way that it looks as well, like the, 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 the monotone in color, and that the pattern is just made by the, um, the kind of the molding of the paper. Um, so it's very different from the other kinds of fans that you see in Vietnam. Yeah. Is it beautiful? Yeah, it's beautiful. It is, it's beautiful. Đẹp không? <cười> Cái này đẹp hơn à? Ừ.
Va Hui is a proud resident of Hui, who was also born in the city. He is a true artist, who I know has devoted his whole life to preserving Ga Hui. Ga Hui is a part of the music of the old man, from the time of the Chủ Nguyễn, and he is a part of the music of the old man. Then he is a part of the music of the old man. It was really nice to spend time um, there in the evening and watching the Gahui and watching all the musicians, the talented and, and passionate musicians perform. Um, it's a very uh, tranquil and, and kind of peaceful, beautiful part of the city, um, just on the river. Um, and you can see the more modern part of the city on the other side. Um, it was really, really nice, really special. Nhớ từ đời xưa tô từ cũng bàn giống thuyền nước non còn truyền thú thần tiên. I think um, living in Hue is um, it's an incredible city to live in, um, and it's a city also that you have to live in to to love. I think just visiting Hue for a few days is not enough, unfortunately. Um, but living here, you get to, the, the, the city is so deep. There are so many layers and, and there are so many things to explore and there are so many people to meet and the history is so rich. Um, and that makes it kind of a city full of, full of substance, um, which, yeah, makes it a, a, very, a very interesting place to live, um, especially if you have, especially if you're curious. Um, because yeah, there, there's there are always places to explore, um, and there are always people. There are always new people to meet. There are always things to learn in Hui. Một cặp đá tinh tài trời suối